Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Blake Keller. Here's a look at the stories we're following today. We have new details. The motion on the floor on. is to limit debate I've to two rounds of five minutes. I've never seen five-row council people like this. Five minute like recess. I've not five seen minute six. recess. I've no, never no, seen no. this in the history of the city of Flint. Well, that's the Flint City Council voting to remove Eric Mays as president after another lengthy session. Six members voted yes and one abstained. Vice President Ellie Herkenrotter was nominated as president, but that vote failed. Since she is VP anyway, that role will serve in the president's absence until the next one can be determined. Saginaw police cracking down on street racing and ATV use within city limits. The department warns of the use of any non-street legal motorized vehicles is illegal in the city. Street racing also illegal and doing so could result in a misdemeanor or felony for reckless driving. Police say they'll be taking a zero tolerance approach to the issue. And the governor announcing several local construction projects set to kick off Monday. MDOT will be resurfacing a portion of US-127 from Humphrey to Washington Roads in Gratiot County. Work is expected to last about a month. MDOT also working on I-69 from M24 to Lake George Road in Lapeer County. It's expected to run into October of next year. And I-75 from Beeve to Cottage Grove Road in Bay County will be resurfaced. The project is on track to run into August. All right, here's Matthew Mondro tracking the latest in your forecast. Thank you, Blake. We do have a warmer Tuesday ahead. Highs into the middle 60s by this afternoon. A few of us at this lunch hour have already hit that 60 degree mark. We'll continue with some sunshine, but more clouds moving back in towards dinner time and into the evening. That's all ahead of Wednesday and Thursday's rain chances, but particularly paying attention to Wednesday evening. There is still a chance for some severe weather in the evening hours. The Storm Prediction Center has a marginal risk. That's a one out of five out for the entire TV5 view area. This is all going to be dependent on the timing of a cold front moving through in the evening tomorrow. If it stays on this evening timing, we are looking at a lesser threat, but if it does shift earlier into the day during the daytime, then we are looking at a greater threat for severe weather. Now, all types of severe weather look to be possible, but we have the greatest chance to actually observe some damaging wind gusts for our area. Now, your first one five hour by hour has scattered showers and thunderstorms picking up overnight tonight after midnight. That will continue into Wednesday, more so in periods or in an intermittent fashion. Now, a few of these thunderstorms during the daytime on Wednesday could still be at the stronger end, dropping some small hail here and there, but the severe weather is expected to come in again during the evening past sunset and towards midnight. A few of those storms spilling into our area from the west. So also one thing to note, you have the greater chance to see any severe weather if you're far to the west in our area in places like Claire, Isabella and Gratiot counties. Now, your seven day forecast is also warmer for Wednesday, a high of 71 back to the 50s on Thursday with a windy day some wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour. As we head into the Easter weekend, we are trending drier, but still a little cooler. Highs then only in the 40s.